Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Asus Kalimos. After joining you guys for another edition of NBA Player Prop Parlay right here on the Guy Boston Sports YouTube channel. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. Hope you guys are looking forward to the New Year's weekend. We got one of the last videos of 2023 from me. We got today and hopefully tomorrow our last parlay videos of the 2023 year. I know there's a lot going on today. We've got NFL football, we've got college football bowl games, we've got the hockey, we got so kind of all kinds of stuff going on today. Uh, but we do have an NBA slate, which means we do have an NBA player prop parlay. We've got a three-leg parlay to share with you guys, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into it. As always, guys, I use DraftKings as my sports book of choice, such to, just to let you guys know. Uh, they give me the best best variety of props and all kinds of stuff. So that's the sports book that I typically go with. But you can always shop around and try and see if you can find uh, better odds or alternative props on your own sports book. So for the first leg of today's three leg parlay, we will be targeting the Miami Heat Utah Jazz game, which kicks off at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We're going with Lori Markinen over 29 and a half points plus rebounds against the Miami Heat. And as always, guys, this show is brought to you by Outlier. And like I've been saying in my last few videos, the best way for me to advertise Outlier is not to just give you an ad read and tell you to try it. I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to switch over here to the Outlier screen. And again, link in the description below, seven-day free trial. If you want to try Outlier out for yourself, all the data that I'm giving you in this video today is available to you when you use our special link and use a seven-day free trial. It is the best sports betting tool on the market. You will not regret it. So... Over here on the outlier screen, we have Lori Marketing over 29, 29 and a half points plus rebounds. We get that at minus 195 odds on DraftKings. If we scroll down here, you're going to look and see over his last 10 games, Lori Marketing has hit this at an 80% rate. Eight of his last 10 games, he has hit this over of 29 and a half points plus rebounds. And if you actually look and see, for the most part, especially the last five games when he's hit this, he's cashed this pretty consistently and a higher mark. You see 36, 39, 43, 34. Um, back on November 19th, he had 55 against Phoenix. So marketing has been cashing this number. And if you look at the 2023 season as a whole, this is not new for him. He's hitting this at a 73% rate on the year. That is 16 out of 22 games. So this isn't just a last five games or a last 10 game trend for marketing. He has been covering this all season long only six times this year has he failed to hit this over so a pretty good spot here for us and as always guys like i always say the head-to-head -head is very important you got to look and see what his history is against these teams if he consistently hits it if he has a hard if he has a hard time hitting it and if you look at lauren marketing the last two times they played the miami heat now both of these matchups happened last season but each of the last two times he blew through this number. Now, he was having a better year last year. He was having an all-star season. Still having a good year this year, but not nearly the same. But the last two times he played the Miami Heat, he crushed this number, which is good for us. And I know I just said that he's having a little bit of a down year in comparison to last year. He's still having a great season, but this is last year's numbers. He hit this at his 71% hit rate last year. So he's actually, based off the percentage of hit rate, he's actually hitting it slightly higher than he was last year. Hit it in 47 out of the 66 games he played last year for Utah. So the last two years, he has been cashing this over. And if you guys, if you look over to the right side of the screen, you will see uh, there's a thing called Insights on Outlier where they give you professional, they kind of read the patterns, give you professional insight on certain uh, props. And so right here, you look at this, Lori Marketing has exceeded 32 and a half points plus rebounds in eight of his last 12 games at home against opponents with a winning record. He's averaging 34.2 points plus rebounds per game on average. And now our prop is 29 and a half. So this is even higher. This is telling you, hey, you can go ahead and take the over 32 and a half, which if you see there on MGM, you get it at minus 115. You can go ahead even higher and the trend looks good. We are going a little lower to play it safer, but there is a lot of insights and a lot of good trends and data to support this Laurie marketing prop. All right, guys, and moving on to the second leg of our three-leg parlay, we're going to be targeting the Toronto Raptors Detroit Pistons game, uh, which kicks off at 6 p.m. Eastern, which while I was getting ready to record, breaking news just dropped. The Raptors traded OG Ananobi to the New York Knicks for R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly. I'm sure there were some other pieces in there, but right now, that is what we know. So kind of breaking news here while I'm recording, which is crazy, um, but we are going to still target this Raptors-Pistons game despite the fact that Toronto's team is going to be a little shaken up now. Uh, I actually think it might help us a little bit better. We're going to go with Pascal Siakam. Over 29.5 points plus rebounds. Actually, the exact same prop we just took with Laurie Markkinen. So if we kick over back to the outlier screen here, you'll see over 29.5 points plus rebounds for Siakam. Um, that is minus 210 odds right 
Now, uh, you look at his last 10 games, he's covered this in five of his last 10. Not terrible, not not bad though. Not not bad, but not great, right? 50% hit rate, but it's it's okay. Uh, his last game against Boston, he last night, uh, he did have 27 points and five rebounds. So he did hit this number um, last night. But if you look at the 2023 season as a whole, again, not great for Siakam. 12 out of 31 games, 39% hit rate on this over. So Siakam's kind of having a bit of a down year for the Raptors, but that does not scare me here. And this right here, this, all of this green you see on the screen is the reason why I am not afraid of him hitting this prop here. He has hit this in each of the last seven matchups versus the Detroit Pistons, dating back to November of the year 2021. He has hit this every time he's played Detroit. And you look at here, he blows through it 37, 34, 33, 32, 37, 37. And the one time they played earlier this year on November 19th against the Pistons, he hit this number. He had 30. He had 23 points and seven rebounds. So he consistently hits this number versus the Pistons. That's the kind of chart we like to see. I know on the season, the numbers aren't great, but against Detroit in this matchup, he has been nothing but fantastic over the last few years. And with Ananobi being out, and be, they're going to be a little shorthanded tonight, they're going to probably look to Siakam to carry the load a little bit more. And I think he will hopefully rise up to that challenge. If you're still a little concerned, I get it. If the numbers, like I said, that, that season total 39% of the year, it's, it's a little scary. But come over here to the right side of the screen, you will see um, the, the matchup stats for Detroit. Uh, they are bottom five in the league in points allowed, and they're about middle of the road in rebounds allowed. But if we look a little closer at the power forward position, they are bottom 10 in both points allowed and rebounds allowed to the power forward position. So it's a great matchup for Siakam. He's done it consistently against Detroit, and defensively this season, the Pistons have been awful um, guarding power forward. So I do like the spot here for the second leg. Pascal Siakam over 29 and a half points plus a rebound. All right, guys, wrapping it up here, we have the third and final leg of our three-leg parlay. We are targeting the Lakers-Timberwolves game. Uh, we're at 8 p.m. Eastern time in the kickoff. We are going with Carl Anthony Towns over 18 and a half points for the third and final leg of today's parlay. And again, guys, we'll kick over to the outlier screen. And if you look here, similar to Siakam, right? In his last 10 games, he's hit at a 50% hit rate. Not incredibly impressive. But unlike Siakam, when you expand a little more, it's not as bad. His last 20 games, he's covered it in 13 of his last 20 games. And on the 2023 season as a whole, he's covering it at a 66% hit rate, 19 out of 29 games. You had a, he had obviously a much better start to the year of late. A lot, a few misses, but he's always around that 18 and a half point mark. You see here 18, 16, 17. He's usually around this number. So I like the spot here overall. And if you wanted to look at last year, just for a little bit of insight, kind of the same thing, 69% hit rate. So over the last two years, he's hitting it around this 66 to 69% hit rate, which is the majority of the time. But just like Siakam, like I said, this is the chart that matters the most to me. In each of his last seven times he played the Lakers, he has crushed his numbers. This is almost exactly like the Siakam one. Um, and again, similar to Siakam, he blows through this. He doesn't just hit the over 18 and a half, he blows right through it. You know, dating back to November of 2021, he has hit this. And the one time they played this year, just last week, December 21st, uh, he had 21 points versus the Lakers. So, Carl Anthony Towns has been covering this number against the Lakers consistently. And defensively, the Lakers are bottom 10 in the league in points allowed to the power forward position. They're giving up 26 points per game <clears throat> to opposing power forward. So, great defensive matchup. He hits it consistently against the Lakers. Um, it's just a great matchup stat here for Carl Anthony Towns. I think he's going to roll here. He should blow through this number, but I do think he'll score at least 19 points. Now, I will let you guys know, Anthony Towns is a game time decision. As of right now, that is what he's listed at and on the injury report with left knee soreness. I am assuming he's going to play. On the Lakers side of things, which could actually help us, is the fact that AD and LeBron are also both uh, game time decisions. So that could spin in our favor, especially if AD is not playing. It only help our matchup with Carlton Towns here. Um, but it should be noted, and I will warn you guys that he does. He is a game time decision. Just keep that in mind. So that is all three of our legs. So we're going over here, kick it right back to the outlier screen real quick. And you'll see here that those three legs combined give us a parlay of plus 238 odds. Not half bad. But I do want to show you guys, just in case you don't want to ride with the Carlton Towns prop because you're afraid of the injuries luck, we're going to X him out here. And it'll still net you a parlay of plus 123. So even if that he doesn't play and it gets voided, it's still a plus 123 parlay, but obviously plus 238 if he does play. 
Guys, that is it for me for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Help us get there a little sooner. Hit that like button, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, I hope you're all winners. Enjoy your Saturday.